Thank you very much for this generous introduction. I'm honored to represent the World Jewish Congress at this important international conference of the International Association of Jewish Lawyers and Jurists. And I'm most grateful to Mayor Linden and Irit Khan for inviting me to share some thoughts with you this evening. Before doing so, however, please allow me to make a brief observation at the point of personal privilege, as it were. As I find myself sharing a stage with Itzhak, with Buzi Herzog, I am quite certain that more than 74 years ago, when your father, Buzi, then an officer in the British Army, and my parents, who had only recently emerged from the horrors of the Shoah, first met in the displaced persons camp of Bergen-Belsen in Germany, they could not have imagined that their sons would one day stand together here in this amazing museum on the campus of this spectacular un university, which are at the heart of a Jewish state that was then still a goal, an aspiration, rather than a reality. The law, Gilbert and Sullivan's Lord High Chancellor famously declared, is a true embodiment of everything that's excellent. It has no kind of fault or flaw, end quote. As we all know, this statement is only partially accurate. The law, covering under its broad umbrella legislation, enforcement, and both judiciary and statutory interpretation, can be the most important instrument in combating discrimination and oppression and promoting civil and human rights. From our time's overly narrow, not to say parochial perspective, laws defining anti-Semitic manifestations as hate crimes, manifestations are, as hate crime manifestations, are useful tools in the fight against political or racist action that target Jews. In a broader context, core international documents of a judicial or even supra-judicial nature, such as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Convention for the Prevention and Punishment of the Crime of Genocide, constitute enormous steps forward in forging a more just global society. At the same time, we also know that the law, writ small, can be an instrument that furthers discrimination, oppression, and worse. My friend Lin Mayor Linden and I are both sons of Holocaust survivors, as is Justice Rubinstein. Our families and the families of many in this hall this evening were the targets of a regime that distorted and manip manipulated laws to perpetrate what, what was without question the greatest injustice in the history of humankind. Irina Nedland's family had similar experiences in the Soviet Union where duly promulgated laws were twisted, often perverted, to deny rather than further human rights and freedom. When I teach about the law of genocide that has evolved since the end of the Holocaust, I also make clear to my students that in most cases, the perpetrators of genocide and other crimes against humanity try to cloak their homicidal actions under a veneer of purported or pseudo-legality. I preface my greetings this evening on behalf of the World Jewish Congress with these remarks because they highlight the critical importance of the mission of the International Association of Jewish Lawyers and Jurists. As you will hear over the course of the next 24 hours, anti-Semitism is not just alive, but is flourishing in many parts of the world as our other incarnation of racism and bigotry. And we need to marshal all available resources to at least combat, if not actually defeat, the contemporary resurgence of ideologies that can only be characterized as evil. As most of you know, the World Jewish Congress represents and advocates on behalf of more than 100 Jewish communities across the globe interceding where necessary on their behalf before governments and international organizations and institutions. Since its establishment in Geneva more than 83 years ago, the WJC has functioned to a large extent as a diplomatic arm of the Jewish people. In the same vein, the IAJLJ is very much the judicial, or perhaps better, jurisprudential arm of the Jewish people. 
You have gathered under your umbrella some of the best and most sophisticated legal mind from around the world to safeguard and protect the legal rights and interests of Jews and Jewish communities. The IAJLJ is an important affiliate of the World Jewish Congress, especially at a time when even Jewish religious rights are under attack. Together, we need to find effective and at times innovative ways to fight not only against neo-Nazi incitement and violence, but also against legisl legislative attempts to ban Brit Mila and Shrita, circumcision and the ritual slaughter of animals in accordance with Jewish religious law. At the same time, we must at all times remain conscious of the fact that Jewish rights and the defense of Jewish interests, whether political or legal, does not and cannot exist in a vacuum. In an, act, in an address at the Pontifical Gregorian University in Rome earlier this month, World Jewish Congress President Ronald S. Lauder reminded us that, and I quote, Human fraternity is the core of our existence. Racism is absolutely unacceptable. We must eradicate it. Anti-Semitism is absolutely unacceptable. We must eliminate it. Islamophobia is absolutely unacceptable. We must erase it. Attacks on Christian communities and on Christian individuals are absolutely unacceptable. We must stop them and prevent their recurrence." End quote. But the campaign against racism, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and anti-Christian attacks will be infinitely more effective if it is united. Christians should lead the defense of Jews and Muslims. Muslims should lead the defense of Christian and Jews. Jews should lead the defense of Muslim and Christians. And we must all stand together against racism." End quote. We, the IAJLJ as well as the WJC, must not lose sight of the interrelated realities that when we fight for Jewish rights, we fight for human rights generally. And when we prevail on behalf of the Jewish people, we prevail on behalf of society at large. On behalf of jo World Jewish Congress President Ron Les Slaughter, Executive Vice President Maram Stern, and our entire organization, I'm honored to extend the warmest best wishes and congratulations to Irit Cohn to Mayor Linden, and to all the brilliant and talented women and men who comprise the IAJLJ. We look forward to many years of working together in friendship.